Hey everyone, it's Joseph from LearnSketch.com and today I'm gonna show you an interesting way to use a new feature that's been added to Sketch recently that allows you to edit multiple shapes at once. So let's say that you've got a grid of photographs, whether it's flowing vertically, horizontally, or both, and let's just say a client or an art director says, hey, let's make this a big square and have that square occupy this whole area, and let's also bring this over, and you say, oh boy, that means I'm gonna have to move everything around except for these two in the bottom left hand corner. I'll have to move everything. I'll have to scale everything. That could be a pain in the neck. But in Sketch, if instead of using images, you use shapes and you use image fills to fill those shapes, it's then really easy to manipulate the shape, right? So over here on the inspector, you can see that I have an image fill set for the fill of this box. Now where things get really interesting is if I select all, and I'm also gonna hit Control R to bring up this uh, grid that I've created on my rulers here. And um, if you hit return to edit the shapes, I'm now in editing mode, where normally in previous versions of Sketch, you could only edit one shape at a time, but now in the current version of Sketch, you can edit all of these shapes at the same time. You'll notice all the vector points show up at the same time. And I can click and drag to select all the anchor points around these two gutters. And if I now drag to move one, they all move together, and the result is that the boxes get stretched and squished and the photos fill appropriately. It is a really cool way to take advantage of this new feature. It's not just for editing complicated vector shapes. Just for simple rectangles with image fills, it is a pretty big deal. So if you like this, please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have more cool sketch tips and tricks coming soon.